Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing great. Uh, you know, I could always use a nap, but I'm I'm doing just fine. <laughs> so for those of you that are coming on on the replay, just know that this is being recorded via a live stream. So I will be chit-chatting with my junk journal buddies over in the chat. And also, uh, if you are new to the channel and you love junk journaling like we do, then you'll want to make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one come out. And also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. We're trying to get this video to a thousand likes. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. <laughs> and that's going to help out the channel immensely. And if you want to see additional content, like uh, you want to see some planning stuff, some mixed media stuff, more junk journaling processing videos, and also more junk journaling creation videos. And also, I have the new podcast, which is the L3 podcast. You can head over to uh, patreon.com slash list for a day, and you can check that out. So I wanted to say hello to all of you who are on with me already. Hello, Donna and Nettie. Thanks for joining me. And hey, 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 Roberta. And also, Rachel, how are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a fantastic day. So what we're going to be doing is, hey, Kaleidoscope, <laughs> what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some mini junk journal covers um, using some um, collaging so basically we're just going to be doing some collaging today hi Sheila I'm glad you're here we missed you so y'all this is kind of easy but of course it's one of those projects where you just have to sit down and just you know get her done so <laughs> hey Caroline oh Carolyn and y'all my glasses are really dirty hold on I have to let me see if I have something to clean my glasses with cuz I never know that my glasses are dirty until I put them on. So what are you all doing today? What are you what are you working on or creating while you're on with with the buddies here? Oh, and I forgot to mention as well that you can head over to our Facebook group, which is Junk Journal Buddies. And the links, all the links are in the description below, so you don't have to remember anything. Just go to the description and you can go to the links there. And all right, I think my glasses are good to go. I think they're good to go. So it's good to hear you all are doing just fantastic. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of jump right in because it's going to take a little while to do some collaging. And I'm not going to do any cutting because I already did some cutting. But I made um, these covers or I'm making these covers from just some manila folders and these are some nice thick manila folders and I've had them for a while but I'm not really using them I used them at one time but I'm not anymore so I'm just going to um, cut them up and you know recycle them so to speak and you can find these quite easily in the thrift stores as well but you know you can also get them in any uh, office supply store but Many of us already have tons of these folders. So I'm also going to be using um, these two collage kits. And I know you're saying, but Lizzie, you're supposed to be collaging. <laughs> and yet you are already have a collage. How is that? Well, I'm actually going to be using this collage within another collage. And these are some of the collage papers that I turned into a digital kit. And they are over at PleasantCreations.com. So um, if you all want to he uh, head over there and check that out, you can use the code YouTubeFAN and you will get a discount off of any of your purchases over there. So these are collage papers. So again, that's YouTubeFAN. Okay. So I have a bag and I have my stuff in here because I actually took this with me today. I had some place to go and I knew I was going to be waiting for a while. So I just took my bag of goodies. So that's something you could do. You could definitely take this on the fly. So here are some of the um, bases for the covers that I'm going to be making. So what I did was 
I just cut these like right on where there's already a natural fold and I decided how big I wanted these to be. So if you make these for yourself, that's something you'll want to do. Just decide how big you want them to be and just cut them on the natural fold. Now you don't have to because um, this folds uh, very nicely. So if you have to cut it someplace else where there's not a natural fold, which I did on some of these, it's still going to work out perfectly for you. So you don't have to worry about that. So Nettie said that she picked up some folders the other day and some more washies. Well, see, good for you. So you're ready to roll with this. So I wanted to make like 10 of these. And I don't know how far I'm going to get on 10, but <laughs> I thought I'd be ambitious and try. So let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five here. And I have some more in here. I'll show you the ones that I completed sort of they're sort of complete they're just kind of in that they're in stages and here's some so this is let me move this out the way so it won't be a distraction for you all so here's one hello lows hey 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 and here is another one that i did so they're small here let me get you all just a smidge closer so you can see there you go so this is the first one there that I did and here's the next one so these are all very unique and again I did use pieces of the collages from the collage kit over at Pleasant Creations here's a piece right here on this one and here's a piece of a collage up here at the top on this one alright so that is for now I'm going to show you um, what the journal is going to look like when I do get done so I we probably won't get too far on here but this is what it looks like so it's a mini journal and so that's the front and this is the back and this is what the inside looks like so I'm still working on it and the pages are actually not sewn in yet but it has a very good feel and this cover is like hard <laughs> it's a hard cover you all so, um, and I picked out some pages already for this one just for, um, I always like to do like a mock-up first. And so definitely I'll still um, put this up in the shop as well. And I'll probably make one for myself too, because y'all, I need to make a new junk journal for myself. So that's a coming up too. All right. So let's move this out the way and let's just take, uh, one of our little pieces here and... Let me go ahead and take this stuff out of here. I have, let's see what I'm going to be using today. I have a few little scrappity scrap scraps here. Oh, here's one I was working on, but I didn't get finished with, so I'll start on that one. And I already know I need to bust open some more glue. <laughs> and some more little scraps. Okay, let me move this loud bag out the way. And this is just a little piece of deli paper. I just use this for when I am um, putting the, the glue on the back of here. And I have a wet rag too because my fingers always get glue on it. So you could definitely use a baby wipe. But yeah, I don't really like using baby wipes that much because I feel like uh, when I have baby wipes, I use too much. Hey, Rose. Oh, I'm glad you're here. You're going to love it here with us. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is a fun, this is fun because you can use your, um, you can definitely use up your scraps because, you know, we're all about keeping scraps for one thing and then using some strap, scraps too. All right, y'all. So I'm going to be using some of this and this is actually some pages from an aircraft manual and y'all, I have some, um, some book page packs coming up that have like some really interesting pages that you can use in uh, any of your collages or inside of your books and stuff so i wanted to use this it's like a really thin paper and it's almost like translucent so it's like really nice to work with for for collages so i'm going to be using some of that and i got this out of some kind of engineering manual and it had like some really cool illustrations in it so i wanted to use this hey tammy we're glad you're here 
And Tammy says that she hit the like button on her way in to the chat. So I hope you all did the same thing. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like button. And then I pulled this paper out. I actually had this for a different journal, but for some reason I, I took it apart. And so it had like some really nice blue colors that I liked. So I'm going to use some of this also. And then I just have some little scrappy scrap scraps. I have some dictionary pages. I have some um, vintage catalog, Sears catalog pages I can use. This is from like a shipbuilder's book. And let's see, that's a dictionary page. And then of course, our good old music pages. And then again, we're going to be using collage pages. Collage pages for the collages. <laughs> Now, I will say that I did print this on regular copier paper. So just regular 20 pound paper will do the trick for this job. You don't want to use like thick paper when you are doing collages because it kind of, um, I won't say it defeats the purpose, but it's just, it's too much. You don't need that. Okay. So like I said, I started on this one already. So I am just going to continue on and I'm just going to randomly pick some, pick some papers and just uh, get to ripping and get to gluing because that's all and I'm also I'm gluing over the edge so y'all don't be afeard I know what I'm doing <laughs> I know what I'm doing with this okay all right so let me let me take the camera out just a bit Oop, there we go because we're too close at this point all right, actually, I think maybe I'll use this side. Let's do that. Y'all always use a lot of glue. And you definitely, for this project, you want to use a lot of glue and make sure you get the edges real good because um, when the book is done, it's going to be a sort of exposed. So, and then also for the way that I'm doing this book, I'm not that worried about the spine here. So, but the rest of it, I ain't, I am worried about. <laughs> hey, Veronica. Y'all, let me take my, I don't think I need my glasses for this piece. So I can read the chat uh, quite better without, without having those glasses on. Because y'all know, the bifocals. <sighs> they is something else. Some old lady glasses or something else so what y'all want to talk about today anything interesting happening in y'all world <laughs> my world is I've been busy but y'all don't want to hear about what's been going on with me it's been a little crazy but I think maybe within the next couple of days things will be back to normal for me yeah, I'm also don't worry. How, I'm not worried about how these pieces are torn because I like the crazy tornness of these. And another thing that I like to do is I like for my collages to be like all of them to go like the same way. So I don't like to turn them this way and that way or horizontally. I always like the collages to be like straight up and down. At, like if you were reading a page because that just makes sense to me I think I freaked Penny out last time when I was doing this and she says it's a collage you can put them any kind of way you want to and that is a very true but I like mine this way well, I don't like it that her poor little head is cut off <laughs> so I'm going to Let's put something underneath that. Where's those beautiful pages that I pulled out to use this? And then something else, um, something else you could do too. Hey, Happy Scrappy, how you doing? You could use your washi tape too for this, y'all. So I might pull out some uh, washes, washi tapes. Now, I would not suggest, I like just using the regular glue stick. And y'all see, I always use the purple glue because I like the purple glue because I can see where the glue is on here. 
That's the only reason why I like the purple glue. And I find that it's, once it's like really nice and nice and dry, it sticks pretty good. Gotta straighten that a little bit. Y'all might can't see that, but I can see it. So Happy Scrappy says she likes her stuff to be kind of straight also. I get it. I don't know what it is, but it just has kind of a, it has, even though it's a collage, it has a neater look, a neater look, and I like that. All right, now something else that I wanted to do is I'm going to look on this page here, and I'm just going to pick a piece that has some writing on it. And there's a method to my madness, but I might not get a chance to tell y'all about my madness. <laughs> I'm going to put this right here because I like kind of the contrast of having the words here. It, it all makes sense in the grand scheme of things. Hey, Penny. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, we can have it any kind of way we want it, huh? Any kind of way. You can use any kind of materials you want for your collage. It's all good. Just like Penny says. Alright, so I got a lot of glue on there. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. But, I just don't want to stick into anything else. So, I always have my little wet rag here when I remember, of course. Alright, let's put on some washi. Let me see if I can find some washi over here. And oh, let me let me have that back. <laughs> and I'm just gonna randomly put down washi tape. But I am gonna put some glue on it. Because I want to make sure that this does not come up. Because these are for cover, so I want to make sure our our washi tape doesn't come up so we're going to glue that down just like we glue everything else all right and maybe a little bit on the back i'm gonna try to go move down a little bit every time i put my hand in front of the camera it's going to change the autofocus is going to change colors but I don't have any control over that because, you know, this, I have to say, it's hard to find like a software that controls your camera like really well. So sometimes it just gets on your noobs and does what it wants to do. Put a little bit more. All right. You need some more colored papers? Go get yourself the collages over at PleasantCreations.com. <laughs> they have some color in them. <laughs> All right. So now that page is done. So now I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to get rid of all that extra off of here. Because we don't need any extra collage paper for this job. So this is a good TV time activity for sure because you don't really have to think too much about this. So have any of you been doing any collaging lately? Seems like collaging is a big thing right now in the junk journal community. I love it though. At first I was a bit intimidated by it. But once I started doing it, I kind of found a love for it. I like the collage papers. Alright, so now that's what that one looks like. So nothing special. All right, let's move that out the way and start on another one. All right, so we got a clean slate here. I already cut this down. So now all we need to do is just fill our space. And this is a, a definitely a good way to get rid of some some of your uh, text pages from the books that you are breaking down. 
<laughs> oh, you don't have a... Um, Oh, you don't have a computer. Oh, that's too bad. You gotta borrow one. Go to the library, girl, and print you some stuff out. <laughs> Did y'all know you could print stuff at the library? It's gonna cost you, though. They charge you. I know our li library charges you to print stuff. Let's put the Great Barrier Reef on here. I don't know why. I like these old catalog pages. They're kind of cool. So Happy says she does it all. She collages all the time. I think I'm finding myself collaging all the time too. But I've never done like any journal covers with it. So these are going to be really pretty. Let's use some more of this. <laughs> I have the most washi. Girl, you have no idea how much washi I have. <laughs> Only 10 rolls? Oh, you poor thing. You're really poor. <laughs> You're washi poor. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at me. Because I have a ridiculous amount of washi. And I'm only using the washi that I have like right next to my desk. Because I actually have some boxes of washi. And I, there's some people that have more washi than me. So I don't feel too bad. I don't feel too, too bad. There is definitely some people with a tons more. Oh, Nettie says she has 11 rolls. I have a lot of rolls and now I have lots of samples too because people send me are sending me samples because of the swaps. So that's cool. And I, actually, people are sending me, sending me a washi that I don't have, if you can believe that. So you never know. 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 You never, 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 never know. All right, let's put let's put a little atlas in here. I love the atlas pages. I know I'm making a lot of noise with this glue stick because I have a delicate ecosystem. So every time I hit the desk any kind of way, I know you'll all hear it. Oh, I might need my glasses now because I can't tell which side this is. Up. I think this is right. <laughs> so this is just something that just takes a little bit of time. And like I said, you want to make sure you don't want thick papers. So these papers are all printed. Well, the ones that I printed are on regular paper. So it's nice, not too thin, but thin enough to get the job done. You say no more washi tape. I actually haven't bought washi tape in a really long time. But when I was buying washi, y'all, I lost my freaking mind. I was just buying like two and three rolls at a time. And I just, I didn't need all the, all the washi I was buying. Because it's like a little bit of an addictive habit. Not a little bit, but a lot. Because it's so uh, inexpensive and then you just keep buying it and keep buying it and keep buying it until you have like a, a, a whole hoard of it. And, and I was using it, but you just can't use washi that fast. There's just no way you can do it. <laughs> Let's put... 
you just can't do it. <laughs> Sheriff is cheap. Hey, it's cheap until you like buy like um 500 rolls at a dollar a piece, then would then it's not cheap anymore. <laughs> When you start adding it up, then the cheapness goes far, far and away. You're like, oh my goodness, I spent that much money? When you break it down, see, I have, I have an accounting background, y'all, so I'll be breaking stuff down. But sometimes I break it down too late because I had already bought all that washi. <laughs> But I'm, I'm glad I have the wash. I, I enjoy my washi tape. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes it's just nice looking at an abundant amount of stuff. <laughs> Even though you know you really didn't need all that. But sometimes it's just nice looking at it. So I'm not going to lie. She loves her washi tape. Let's put this like somewhere. This is an itty bitty scrap. See, even the itty bitty scraps have a place. Let's put it up here. And let's break this up here. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, antique linen distressed ink around this one because it's a lot of white showing. Instead of me trying to rip it off, I'll just give it some smooching. Darken it up a little bit. But for the most part, I probably won't be using that. It's probably good that you don't purchase a lot. We just, us junk journalists, we... The stuff we buy is like so cheap and you can you can get out of a thrift store with it. Um, you can get a whole bag of stuff for like five bucks, but then, you know, that stuff adds up and then you want to be using your stuff as well. The whole point is to use it. Sometimes we get stuff, we put the cart before the horse, and we don't know how we're going to use something before we purchase it. That's one reason why I like doing these videos, because I can show you, I can give you all some ideas on how to use some of, some of your good stuff. And sometimes when I'm doing this, I'm giving myself some good ideas. <laughs> yeah, it's fun looking, all at, looking at all the uh, craft stuff, isn't it? And it's like a um, collector. I think people don't really think of it that way. You know, um, like some people co collect coins. Some people collect baseball cards. We actually collect stuff and that we might use. <laughs> and it's fun looking at it. And it's fun I, for me. It's fun uh, attempting to organize it because it seems like I'm always organizing my stuff but then after you get it organized and you get everything all the like items into one place it's it's just fun to look at even like if it was just pencils it's fun to look at pencils and markers and things like that so this is what that one looks like y'all that looks pretty doesn't it i like it okay next smooth trash i'm actually purposefully not throwing things in the trash because some of those little bitty pieces I'm still, I'm using those still to kind of break things up. All right, next. Let's we get another piece. Where are you? What did I do with you? Oh, here you are. Off to the side. So we have another piece here. Okay. Um... Yeah, I tried to, not to take out too much stuff, but you know, sometimes it's hard. You just want to just take out a new piece of paper instead of taking out some of your stuff that's already ripped up. But I digress. That's just the collage life. 
Yeah, it is very therapeutic, isn't it? Just doing stuff with your hands. Y'all, I cannot just... It is very difficult for me to just sit and watch TV. I either have to be... Now, this is going to sound very crazy. I have to be watching a YouTube video on my computer while I'm watching TV. <laughs> or uh, making something. Just anything. Just doing something with my hands. And that is... I think a lot of people are like that, though. I'm not the only one. I think a lot of people are like that. Especially us, us peoples. see y'all I knew this was gonna uh, take a little bit of time and even though I took it with me and I had like a little table where I was at I still only got maybe like two covers done because it's kind of one of those things you just want to take your time with and just kind of enjoy the process this is a little bit of a process but it's quite enjoyable I want to use, use some of this one with the mushrooms. Y'all like these mushrooms. And I want the red mushrooms off of here. We made these together too. you over here and it, it's also it's amazing how things look once you put everything together stuff by itself doesn't look that great until you put it together <laughs> the mind is a terrible thing to waste I know right <laughs> so kaleidoscope says she needs to do more uh, with her craft stuff and Nettie says uh, tearing paper is relaxing and I agree with you totally. It is relaxing. It is definitely relaxing. Make sure we rub that on there really good. It's nice and flat. Okay. But you also don't want to give yourself, I think um, me and Miss Rodriguez, I think we were talking about it a little bit, that you don't want to give yourself too many choices when you're doing stuff like this because then your mind kind of goes a little wild because it's like, oh no, what am I going to use next? But if you limit your choices, you can still have lots of unique items and not drive yourself crazy. Trying to figure out what you're going to use next. So here's a little scrap that might have went into the trash. Of course, these little pieces, after I'm all done, I'm definitely going to throw these little bitty itsy bitsy pieces away. But you know, for right now, we're going to keep them. See the, how the little pieces break everything up? Yeah, the mushroom pieces are awesome. <laughs> it it doesn't hurt to tear because it's it's a copy, Roberta. It's okay. <laughs> it's part of a digital kit. So it's okay that I tore it. Calm down. Breathe, girl. Breathe. <laughs> That's what I made it for. I, I've used those like in tags. I've used them as pages um, in signatures. I've used them this way to like in another collage. They're very versatile. And I love looking at them. They came out so pretty. So pretty indeed, as a matter of fact. No, I'm going to use... Let's use another piece of this one. And I'm going to use... Not that piece. But this piece. With these letters on it. I 
I should use it that. I know it is hard. It's easy to hoard stuff, isn't it? I was um, going through some of my papers today. I was doing a little bit of organization because I have to do things in spurts. I, I didn't even finish because I was like, I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> like mentally, like I can't like do too much at one time when it comes to stuff like that. So I, um, I started and then I was like doing the papers and I was like, okay, we need, we need a break. Time to go jump on the uh, live stream. <laughs> I don't want to do that no more today. But it feels good to have things where you can find it too. And I say just do it in baby steps. Do your organization in baby steps. Or else it'll become overwhelming. Especially when we just keep bringing stuff in the house, right? Yeah, this blue page, I was looking at it earlier. I was like, this, it is pretty. Because the blues are just like so stunning on here. Yeah, just a few minutes of organizing. And I'm getting it together. Like, uh, every little organizing bit, I'm finding that uh, things are working more for me. Because, you know, sometimes you have to, you have to like do things, um... Like, when you do things, that system may not work for you, so then you have to try something else. Like, I remember when I first was trying to organize, like, my stickers, my planner stickers. And I must have went through a few diff different ways to store my planner stickers before I found one that worked for me. So, just imagine, like, you spend hours on something and then... To only to figure out that that is not what you want. It's not, it's not really, doesn't really work for you. That is something else. So I'm trying to incorporate some shelving into my space. Cause, and I found already that that helped me immensely because I had so much stuff on the floor and I didn't have anywhere to put the stuff. And I was like, you know what? I need to go vertical. <laughs> so I had to get like some shelves and stuff so I can go vertical. All right, let's find <clears throat> some more washi because I have some washi next to me. Um, I'm actually... I think I told you all, I bought some of uh, the Tim Holtz um, washi. I had never bought any of his washi before, so I said, let me buy some of his washi. I would like to try it out. So this is some of the Tim Holtz wash washi. And I'm still going to give it a little glue love. And I'm not worried about the glue being like over, over uh, the top of the rest of this because it's going to dry pretty quickly. I'll take some, uh, see if I can take some of the extra off there. And the only thing about his washi, of course, is uh, has that vintage flair to it. So, you know, it doesn't have that much color to it. It's nice. I probably wouldn't buy it again. I just bought it because... They had it a Tuesday morning, so I was like, okay, I'll try it. You know, it's always cheaper at Tuesday mornings. And I think... What colors we have? Let's put some of this on here, too. Just a little bit. Put a tidbit. It kind of ma matches the mushrooms a little bit. I'm going to put it up here somewhere. Again, I'm not really giving it that much thought. I'm just... 
And I, I wanted to say I'm just slapping it on, but I'm not really slapping it on. <laughs> I'm giving it a little bit of care when I put this on. All right, so this one, I think it needs just a little something, something like right here. Now I'm thinking, no, yes, no, yes, no. All right, let's use I'm gonna kind of tear this kind of in a small little piece. Get some of these straight edges off. So Kaleidoscope asks, how do we, how do we store our planner stickers? Uh, I, I have a really good way to store mine, but y'all can't stop doing this right now. <laughs> I store my um, planner stickers actually in binders. But I will have to show you how I actually do them. I actually don't use a lot of stickers anymore, but I have a ton of them. So... I'm working my way slowly through the ones that I have. This didn't have like a frame, so I had to give it a frame. Nettie says she stores hers in uh, page protectors. She uses page protectors. All right, so. And I have like just a little piece showing of that manila folder, but nothing a little bit of antique a photo doesn't take care of on the edge. All right, so I think this one is a good to go. And like I said, like there's a little piece of paper that's hanging up here. I'm not really worried about that pa paper there because, well, some of it's going to get cut off in a second, but... um. It's going to be covered up by fabric. So, I'm not worried about that. The middle as much as the rest. Alright, so let's cut that. Oh, Miss Rodriguez says she's been organizing since day one, and she's still she's still on the struggle bus. <laughs> Girl, me too. Cause like I said, like when you start out with a little bit of stuff, you uh put something like in a shoebox, and you're like, yay, that fits. And then you get like a few more things, like a few more pots of paint, and you're like, uh oh, this is not working for any me anymore. So you grow out of your old systems too. It's not that they didn't work, it's like you grow out of the old systems. For sure, okay, so that's that one. And that looks a pretty nice. Next, smooth those scrappity scrap, scrap scraps out the way. We still have a little bit of time. All right, so. Where to begin? Where to begin? Oh, y'all know what? I haven't used any. I haven't used any of this. This engineering book. Let's use some of that. Use some of the illustrations. Actually, I'm going to make some more ephemera books myself. I have one big, large ephemera book, and it works really well for me. However, I do have to say I have a lot of ephemera, so <laughs> it doesn't all fit in the book, so I had to come up with some other ways to store my ephemera. So that could be a video right there, ways to store your ephemera. But an ephemera book is actually it's a very good way to store. But for me, I think I need some more books. <laughs> I need like a catalog 
of ephemera books because I have so much ephemera. We are we are always organizing. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It is a ridiculous, lovely mess, isn't it? <laughs> like sometimes I'm so tired and I don't feel like doing anything else and I just start uh, organizing some stuff. And it energizes me. I find a spot of energy somehow. I don't know how. I don't know where it comes from. Like, where did you come from, energy? I didn't know I had you in me. I want to use that piece. Let's see. Let's use... Um... Let's use some more of this. And I picked this specifically because of this blue. I think this blue is amazing. Ooh, Donna, we all wish we could get <laughs> we could get organized. I love watching the videos where people's stuff is like all the way 100% organized. But I'm like, uh, I know there is like no way in Sam Hill that my stuff w would stay that way. <laughs> Someone introduced you to uh, Project 20. Who was that, Roberta? What are you talking about? I have no idea. How dare they? <laughs> How dare they do that to you? I can't believe it. Yeah, that project, that project 20 is something else, ain't it? Because <laughs> if you do that project 20 every day, woo cha, you're going to have some beautiful ephemera. But then you're going to have some serious storage issues. <laughs> so welcome to my world. That's all I got to say, y'all. Welcome to my world. <laughs> it's like if you're going to make one piece of ephemera, you might as well make a whole bunch. Oh, I know that's right, Miss Rodriguez. Miss Rodriguez says she likes to have something to use when she gets ready for it. That's how I am, too. I'm like, I need something. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That is frustrating when you don't have what you need. I think that's one reason why... We have a lot of stuff, so, you know, because nobody wants to run out to the store every time you need a bead. So if you have some on hand already, you can just get your crafting fix on really quick. <laughs> All right, everybody, we have 18 people watching and we only have uh, 10 likes. So if you have the ability to uh, like this video, please do. The management would appreciate that. We're trying to get 1,000 likes. And if you come on on the replay, you can leave a comment. That would be wonderful. Y'all, I actually go back and I attempt to answer my comments, but sometimes it takes me a while. So I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> it takes me a little while to answer comments, but I do answer them. Let's use music paper here. A little music paper.
Yeah, collaging would be a good thing to do with the kids too. Cause kids like to have, they like to be busy too. They like making things too. So this is definitely something you can do with them, with the children's, if they're old enough. Boss Baby is not old enough yet, but when she gets old enough, we're gonna do some crafting. I think she will like that. She already give her crayons, you know what she does, just scribble. <laughs> she does a lot of scribbling, but that's artwork too. I keep some of her scribble stuff. All right, let me see. What else do I want to use? Let's use this piece right here. And then after I get done with this one, I'm going to go back and we'll look at the ones that we did. Actually, I still have a few more left to do, but we're going to run out of time. All right, so let me look back at some... Uh, Hold up. One thing. Let's see what I have here that I would like to use. Yeah, I love the way they did the numbers on these pages. So cool. I'm gonna do this whole thing. Do this whole thing on here because I just love it. No, I'm not. It kind of takes away from the whole, <laughs> the whole collage thing here. I want to just put that whole piece on there, but I'm not. I'm just gonna put the twenty nine eighty seven on here. That'll make me happy. Even though some things don't look, they, they kind of blend in together, that's okay because, y'all, I'll be doing some sewing on this too. Oh, where's my glasses at? I can't read this, so I don't know if I got it, got it the right way or not. Okay, there we go. That's much clearer. <laughs> that's much, much clearer. It's a pain in the butt wearing these uh, old lady glasses, I'll tell you. All right, let's get some washi tape. And let's see. I'm going to use some of this washi. Washi tape time. Let's use this one. Wanted to put a bright color on here. And I'm not worried about any straight edges on these. I like it the way it is. Let's see where my bend is on here. Um, I think we'll put some at the bottom here. Okay. Okay, there. And I'll put a little on the back as well. I'm going to do it this way. Now I am um, putting my washi tape up and down though. Because it doesn't really have a directional pattern on it. So it's all good. That's my excuse anyway. I'll put just a tad bit, a little bit more. Because it looks a little bottom heavy. So I'm going to put some of that here at the top. Mm -hmm. 
just a tidbit and I think that's it for that all right and then let's cut the extra off of here move some of this stuff out the way I'm just gonna put it back in my bag for now you don't go back in my bag just to get this out the way and kind of keep things together I put it in these big old bags I keep trying to keep the projects together that helps a lot of course I end up with a lot of bags but you know sometimes you win sometimes you lose Hello, Nate Daniel. Glad you're here with us. All right, let's get this extra off. I'm concentrating, that's why I'm not talking. She's in concentration mode. Okay, so that's what this one looks like. So even after you cut like that extra off of the edges, it instantly looks 100% uh, better, doesn't it? All right, so now, let's put these over here and let's look at what we have. I still had two, so these two I didn't get to, but we will eventually. All right, so this is the last one that we did here, and I like this. It's pretty. I like the um, I like the big twenty nine eighty seven on here. And then also the washi. I like adding the washi on here. You know something else you could do too is you can use some stamps. And you can also stamp for some contrast. So you can do that. But I'm not going to do any stamping on these I don't think. <laughs> Grown up Liz. All right, and then this one. And see, I used, like, this came from, uh, I think this might have came from a National Geographic magazine. So you can use magazines in your collages, of course. And Atlas pages. And then I have, like, a little piece of notebook page there. We got the music page. This almost looks like a stamp, but it's like a stamp stamp that you would put on your stamps, but it's not. And this one. Bye, Donna. Thanks for joining us. And this the one. Y'all, they I like I like the collages too because everything comes out so unique. And then this one. And some of them look a little bit plain. This one looks a little bit plain, but I can go back and I can add some stuff to it. Sometimes plain is okay. <laughs> and it's good. So let's see how many we did. We didn't do a project 20, but that wasn't really our goal. But we did a lot. <laughs> so let me see. So today I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I did eight of these. And then I have two more that I want to do. Now, one reason why I just didn't do like one big old page of the folders is because I wanted to cut them down beforehand and then uh, collage these. But, you know, another way that you could actually do this is you can take one of the collage sheets that I have. And I could have just pasted the collage sheet on here and voila, 
is collaged. <laughs> so I could have did it that way too. Let's look at let's look at one. I don't think I don't have one that'll go all the way across, but so I could have just took the collage sheet and just put and took this um, and pasted it on here and then cut it. And then that would have worked also. Then you don't have to collage anything. <laughs> but I have so many scraps. You know. Um, instead of using manila. You can use anything. I just used, I just wanted something that was kind of stiff. And this is what I had here. So you want to use what you have. Sure you can use cardboard. The only thing is if you use cardboard backing. You want to be able to fold it. So in this case. I'm actually going to be adding some more uh, layers to this, but if that's all you're going to be putting on it is like a cardboard backing and maybe some um, paper on the back, that would work. But you just have to think about your spine. The spine piece is going to be the important piece. Brenda, you could try it. You could try the craft paper. Um, it definitely, I think it will work. Craft paper will work. The heavier one. Or even a cardstock. I think that will work. Yep, cereal boxes. Y'all, everything, everything you all are suggesting and asking, you can just try it. Just try it as an experiment. And you'd be surprised at how well your experiments will come out. That's what I do. Y'all know I'm the queen of experimentation. <laughs> I love experimenting. Oh, let me show you all. For those of you that came on a little bit late, I'll show you what the book looks like. Well, what it's going to look like. And so this is the, this is my mock-up for this particular uh, job. So you'll see I'll be doing some sewing on here. And also, you see that's the front and then the back here. And then for the spine, I put some fabric on the spine as well. And then on the inside, I put fabric on the inside too. And the sewing is just beautiful. So low asks, what size am I doing and how many signatures? This is uh, five, it's five inches tall by four inches wide. I kind of like that size. And it's going to be one signature. Just one signature. There's not enough room for any more signatures. Just one. So I'm going to make it a nice size signature. But not too big. Because what I find. Is that people. Well people that make the journals. And they don't use them. They put just a million pages. In the book. So if I bought a book from somebody else. And it was already this fat. There's nothing I can do with that. <laughs> Because y'all see how my books look, and I don't put a lot of pages in it. So you have to be careful about how many pages you put in your signatures. So this is probably a lot of pages in the signature. But I think it's going to work out. Yeah, this is... I don't know. The manila folders are not... Um, I wouldn't say that they are um, like cardstock. Because manila folders are made differently. I don't know what the heck they're made out. I'm sure they're made of paper. But but they're made to be strong. Because, you know, you can fold and unfold and un fold and unfold a manila folder. And bend it in all kinds of ways. And most of the time it's not going to... It, it takes a while before it tears. But cardstock is a little bit different. So... And I would say, like, it's thinner than cereal box, so it's just a different material. Like I said, you have to you have to experiment um, with it. But it's just all it's all about using what you have already. So whatever you have, use that. Don't go out and buy Manila folders. Use what you have already. Yes, Roberta, it's coated. <laughs> could you could you tell it's coated? I actually put a varnish on here. Oh, you mean this? Is this coated? I don't think this is coated. It might be something that they uh they put inside of it. I don't know. Oh, 
Okay, you all, I am at an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and shove off because y'all got something else I got to do real quick. <laughs> hey, thank you all for coming on. Don't forget, you can always come over to Junk Journal Buddies uh, over on the Facebook group. You can, uh, all the links are in the description below as well. Uh, yep, you can copy that idea if you like. <laughs> That's why I share the ideas so you all can copy them. I don't have any problems with that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shove off and I will talk to you all later. Thanks again for coming on. Don't forget to give this the 1,000 1, likes, everybody. <laughs> all right. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.